Yet Ba, the Columbus Dispatch, Infant Mortality Project looks back at first year. Yi Ling Yet Nin Tat Yu Subsay and Miss D. Crane Source, the Columbus Dispatch, Ohio July Subsay, measuring success just a year into a community effort to prevent infant deaths is tricky. The rates don't plummet overnight, and there's some lag in collecting the data. The most current numbers still show that Franklin County families lose about get buttons of babies a year. Data available for the first few months of this year show that ngs up babies died before they reached their first birthday, an infant mortality rate of batim san per yak teen life births, far above the goal of reducing it to low. See alarming losses, the yi teen ling yes up say dispatch series on infant mortality those charged with leading the celebrate one project to lower infant death rates here say they trust in new efforts and plans to help them reduce infant mortality by say a percent from gaudim bat per yet teen life births in yi teen ling yes up yet to the national average of low and cut in half the disparity in death rates between black and white infants by yi teen ling yi sub a year after the conclusion of a series of meetings by the Greater Columbus Infant Mortality Task Force, Celebrate One Director Lion Egg and other leaders discussed progress and plans at the neighborhood house on Natchison Street, on the nearest side, on Monday. It's going to be a while before we can definitively say the rate is going down, Edel said after the event. We kind of have to have faith in the things we're putting in place. There is a lot of effort to try to keep up the momentum. Among the efforts highlighted, the launch Monday of WWW Celebrate One Info, a site designed to serve as a hub for information and resources. It offers, for example, advice on how to enroll in Medicaid and quit smoking and provides details about areas of the city hit hardest by infant deaths, increases in Medicaid enrollment. In three months, from late February to late May of this year, enrollment of pregnant women rose sub percent in Franklin County, and enrollment of non-pregnant women of children during age increased by more than 1%. Delivery of more than say buttons of portable trips to families in need in the past year as part of work to promote safe sleep. Babies should sleep on their backs, alone and free of smothering risks such as pillows, blankets, Stuffed animals and bumper pads, a series of neighborhood meetings underway in Linden, and in east side and south side neighborhoods close to the city's core. In these areas, families lose babies at a much higher rate than those countywide, and many factors contribute, including struggles with housing, nutrition, health care and transportation. A new policy at birthing hospitals that ban surly deliveries that aren't being done for medical reasons. Donna James, who was taught chairwoman of the Infant Mortality Task Force and now is on the executive committee overseeing work here, said that all the agencies charged with leading projects after the task force wrapped up remain hard at work and committed to success. Part of the focus now is to find partners, natural leaders. In the neighborhoods where the most babies die, she said, more financial support of these efforts and other projects tackling the problem is coming. The Franklin County Commissioners are scheduled to vote on a resolution today that would provide more than million to submit or help launch Celebrate One's website, target specific neighborhoods and create a safe slip campaign and outreach program. Commissioners also are to vote on whether to earmark Mayun Ngman Batin for the Moms EB program, which provides support and education to women in areas with high rates of infant death. The county will use federal temporary assistance for needy families funds to pay for both awards. Erica Clark Jones, who is leading efforts in a handful of communities with the highest rates of infant deaths, said she is optimistic that the ambitious goals are realistic. She pointed to a chart showing five-year data on a south side neighborhood that is a focus area. Twenty babies had died there, and sub year of those deaths were related to unsafe sleep. When you see a statistic like that, it doesn't feel nearly as daunting. It seems doable. We just have to be sure we get it right with the resources.
Dispatch reporter Rick Rowan contributed to this story. McCray now dispatch call mail Miss D. Crane copyright. C. Yi Tin Ling Yes up in the Columbus Dispatch, Columbus, Ohio. Visit the Columbus Dispatch, Columbus, Ohio, at www. Dispatch distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.